Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Armorama.com, and welcome to an episode of Cracking the Box. We've got a little bit of a mixed bag for you this week, uh, or today, uh, this this episode, uh, because we don't have a mail call this week, but I did just get this in, so it's kind of like a mail call, it's just we got the one kit. So, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we won't call this one a mail call, but yeah, this, this is why we didn't have a mail call this week, because it was just the... The Rifle model, M1 Assault Breacher vehicle in 135th scale. Um, so I don't know. I'm not a, a big expert on this particular uh, Abrams variant. Uh, it's it looks like a minesweeper to me. So I'm not sure why it gets the title of breacher vehicle. Uh, I mean, clearly it probably could breach things, but it it sure looks like a minesweeper, doesn't it? I mean, that's kind of. Yeah, well, anyways, <laughs> um, so uh, this is RM5011, and uh, it's a it's a tall, tall box. I don't know if you can see there, but, uh, you know, there's my fingers and my hands. So, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a taller than normal box because there's a lot of plastic. Um, got some stuff on the sides here, some various uh, different side depictions, and uh, shows you the front dozer and skis. Uh, as well as the the rear view, but to, let's go ahead and crack it open, shall we? And see, we'll see just how much plastic we've got in here. Now, Rifle's been doing quite a few of these uh, uh, Abrams variants. Um, I'm not sure what this dates to. It says it's an M1, but it could be. I think it's a. I want to say it's a newer design. I've never actually seen one, a photo of one of these in uh, in service, but uh, I'm sure they're out there. All right, so we've got a duplicate screw right off the bat. Uh, this is screw screw N. And it looks like it includes um, some of the, yeah, basically detailed pieces uh, that are obviously duplicated. So there's one, a couple, two sets of sprues there, but uh, the duplicates. Uh, then we've got, looks like G and, uh, is that a P? Uh, these include, oh, actually, oh, two, two separate ones. I was thinking they were one bag, but voila, they're not. Um, and uh, you can see it's in the gray beige plastic. We'll be taking these out of the bags and getting a closer look, but I'm just doing a parts count here. Uh, there will be photos towards the end of this video, too, as well, if you're not familiar with our uh, video unboxings. So, yeah, uh, expect to see more than just uh, me holding these things up to a video camera. All right, so, yeah, we've got the top uh, hull here. We've got uh, more detail bits. Uh, we've got some of the side armor, uh, the Tusk 2, uh, or actually Tusk, original Tusk side armor, Tusk 1. Uh, lower plate here for... Uh, personnel mines and or mines and things, making it mine resistant. Um, and then another small detail piece, the actual one piece lower hull. And then we've got another, uh, some of these side uh, stowage uh, parts, as well as some tow cables and other bits there. Uh, some of the road wheels and two, two, two sprues. Uh, this is sprue C. And we've got uh, Additional detail parts like the photo etch, the some of the tow cables in uh, brass wire, copper wire, uh, decals there on the inside, as well as a lot of clear, so quite a bit of clear there. And we've got tracks, which look like they're in, hmm, uh, well, this must be the new format. <laughs> I just saw the Tamiya Valentine with the same basic concept of the uh, lower and upper, I want to say, uh, tracks in one piece, and then the corner you know, the parts going around the, the, ex the external front and back um, bits, as well as there are guide horns that need to be glued into all of these. So good luck with those guide horns. Um, some uh, fuel cans and other uh, stowage types things, guns, uh, 50 cal weapon. Um, not sure what those are, some kind of maybe cleaning rod cases or something there. And uh, some of the top uh, commanders and uh, hatches and things, Commander Scopola, uh, gas, or uh, smoke dischargers, more weapons, and then quite a bit of uh, side armor or armor bolt-on pieces uh, with this one. All right, so then we've got the instruction set. We'll take a closer look at that. Uh, we've got... Um, Basically, the parts overlay, of course, here. Everything's being used. This is not uh, does not look like it has any designation. No, we don't know that all these pieces will be used. They could have some um, parts that are uh, duplicated here from previous releases. Looks like they've got two um, 
at least two. Let me see if they've got more. Multiples, two, three. They've got three different uh, units here depicted with different uh, camouflage paints, uh, ammo of MIG, uh, ammo by MIG. I'm going to get that right eventually, ammo by MIG. Um, so paints are provided here uh, with uh, ammo by MIG colors. And then we go right into the upper turret construction. Um, detail bits going on there. The track construction, no, not the tracks. What are these? These are part of the front um, dozer bar. Dozer bars, or is that the rear? I think that's on the rear, actually. We, we will see. Um, anyways, uh, more bits going together. The uh, back side of the, I guess that's part of the back side, okay, of the turret. Um, it looks like it releases something. I'm not really sure how the mechanism works here. What what's what's it what is it doing? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe someone in the comments section will, will will let us know what potentially somebody's actually used one of these things. Um I mean, it clearly has some kind of pop up vertical system. Maybe these go down into the ground or something. I I don't know. Those those are very odd, very odd. Um part of the breaching system, I guess, maybe. Maybe that's what the turret does. The breacher is on the turret, and then the, the front part is just the mine, the mine uh, dozer part. Who knows? Who knows? Do not know. All right. <laughs> My apologies. I know. I know. Sometimes it's frustrating because, like, well, Jim, you could have done some homework first. I could have, but then you know, I'd be sitting at the computer for a couple hours, like looking up stuff, and I, I then I get sidetracked and I never open the box. So this is the problem. You know, if it's better if I just just do it. All right, so we've got uh, different views of the uh, front dozer uh, unit here. Um, not sure, again, if this is part of the breaching system or basically just kind of the or the engineering part on here. But clearly the turret section with all these things going on there probably is probably part of the breaching system. We just can't really see it from the uh, the front. Maybe they swing the turret around. Is that the way, the way it's designed to work? Anyways, um, so... Unfortunately, there's no labels in here saying, you know, this is this and this is that. Uh, make two. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, there we go. The last final bit on the back here with the turret um, siding part going on last. That's interesting. That piece would go on last at the very end. Uh, and then the, uh, all three parts go, obviously going together. So, all right, let's uh, open these up and we'll get a closer look and then we'll uh, take a look at some photos as well. These have the nice uh, release bags, by the way. So you just have to pull on these and they'll come right out. I believe it was Meng that introduced this, but yeah, pretty much all the newer armor producing companies have been doing them this way. Um, sure, they cost a little more, but you know, it's kind of cool. All right, like so we've got some uh, some upper upper texturing on the hull, which I'm going to guess this probably is a similar release to a previous uh, Abrams kit, but uh, we'll, we'll pretend we've never seen one before from from Ryfield. Um, nice grill work here, uh, not see through, but obviously uh, could be very easily done. Good spacing here on the hatches. Again, uh, easy for your for your uh, uh, shadowing effects and so forth to probably create a better a better look there, um, and uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of nice detail here. Very nice. Hope uh, we'll get some photos to get much more uh, uh, better better look at those. Uh, just quickly at the uh, the tusk one uh, side armor. Uh, these feel really uh, strong here, but maybe that's maybe that's right. I'm not really sure. Um, again, this is. All looking very clean, very nice production-wise. Um, here's some of the uh, various fender bits uh, with uh, what I assume are rubber pieces on the front here. But some nice little detail there with the uh, kind of angled off section. Um, and again, some texturing on these That's pieces. Uh, the double, which is part of the, I believe, the breaching system. We've got Whatever this is, looks like track, but it's kind of weird. It almost looks like, um, hmm, don't know what that is supposed to be. Um, and some hatches here, and uh, you can say this one says M1ABV, so clearly this is the sprue for this particular add-on bit. Um, so, yeah, lots of, lots of small detail parts here, which look good. Uh, road wheels... Again, I'm going to assume these are the same as the prior release, but uh, um, 
everything looks good, no flash, no uh, production issues noted. Um, let's see lots of small U-bolts and other parts here, suspension bits. Uh, again, here's a, oops, here's a piece I'm launching across the room. No, not quite. This is also marked ABV, so this is particular for this kit. Um, nice smooth surface details. Um, not seeing a whole lot there. And this one, uh, also marked ABV, because this is part of the dozer. You can see the, uh, some of these uh, angled pieces here. And... Uh, a lot of nice uh, surface detail with uh, some hard edges. Um, yeah, all looks good. This one is or just M1. This is part of the, the rear turret uh, bins, which I'm not sure this kit is using. I don't think it would be considering it has that whole section on the back. So probably you're using some of the, the other smaller parts in here. And next we've got this um, M1 uh, gas cans, uh, some of the uh, M uh, the 50 cal, uh, as well as some other stowage uh, bins and things. And then we have this piece, which is marked ABV. Again, some of the smaller, this is, must be the Tusk uh, turret uh, armor on the front there. I'm not sure what these are, but they are two-piece circular around things. And then we have the uh, M1, uh, again, some of the upper turret. It looks like uh, Commander's Coppola and stuff like that. I'm not sure how much of this also is being used, but, uh, but here it is in all its glory. And let's lose this a couple more here, plus the smaller detail parts. These, uh, this is just, again, M1. Uh, so you know, everything, there's some surface, again, texturing on these pieces. Um, I believe this is part of the 50 cal, um, uh, normal uh, 50 cal protective uh, box thingy that goes up on the top. So that's not going to be, obviously, part of this kit. Um, and then we have this one, which is, is marked ABV. So this is that, this is that, the front, front section or back section of the turret with these little, kind of weird angly pieces hanging off. And uh, so yeah, this whole different turret um, starting point ring and so forth on this kit. And again, not seeing a whole lot more mentionable on this piece. Now, in terms of uh, photo etch, um, I'll take some photos with it out of the plastic, but you can see obviously some pr pretty you know basic, there's some grill grills, additional grills here and such. Uh, decals are uh, card graph, made in Italy, and uh, Mark 2016, so I'm guessing these are probably just the M1 decals. And then we have the clear, which again is just marked M1, so I'm guessing this is probably going to be some of this used, some of this not, because some of it's for that 50 cal um, with the armored glass and so forth. So. And then we had the uh, small metal pieces, which were like the uh, a couple of pieces of copper in here, as well as uh, some stranded copper for the tow cable. A couple of pieces hanging on the side here, I missed. So the tracks, obviously, that we looked at in the bag, uh, you can see um, there's they're fairly flat for both. Uh, I'm not sure which is the upper and which is the lower, but I'm not seeing any... Uh, sag, uh, you probably could build some in if you needed to. I mean, it's, it's, it's malleable plastic, obviously, but if there was any sag in, in this type of setup, probably not much uh, for modern vehicles. Um, and uh, those, yeah, those guide horns, boy, they're gonna be, they're gonna be fun, but, uh, but not too bad. At least just only the one, I believe. So yeah, two of these uh, pieces, and then we have the actual lower hull, which I didn't uh, look at here uh, yet. And uh, again, this is probably the standard uh, M1 hull that they've done before, but uh, you can see a lot of nice, nice detail here uh, around the uh, various um, torsion bar or axles, I guess, the various axles that would go through uh, coming out or sus suspension arm parts connect to and so forth. But anyway, so that uh, those just two pieces and we'll come back, take a look at the photos and come back and conclude.
enjoyed the photos of the M1 Assault Breacher vehicle from Ryfield Model. Uh, this is a new kit. It should just be out and about. Uh, you might have some difficulty finding it maybe in local hobby stores uh, in the United States or in North America, but uh, or Europe, potentially Europe, but it should be available soon, so you can always put your pre-order in if you're looking for it there, and I'm sure uh, it's probably available online now. So uh, we'd like to thank Ryfield Model for sending us uh, this sample. Uh, I'm not making any super judgment calls, obviously, on this because I'm not an expert on M1 uh, tanks, but uh, we will make this kit available for a written review or, or blog or uh, video uh, review or something like that. If someone's interested, please email me at publisher at kitmaker.net. Um, and what else? Uh, I think that covers it. Re leave your comments, suggestions, questions below. I just noticed these little periscope light things. That, they're kind of cool. They almost make it, give it that little bit of a creature look there with the, uh, with the front. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, yeah, uh, comments and suggestions, questions uh, below in our comments section. And please give this video a thumbs up or a like if you can. Uh, we appreciate that. And we will see you next time on Cracking the Box. Mm -hmm.